and just see what they look like when they get finished. Uh, let's see there, close this one up too much. I'll deal, deal with that one when I get there. Give you, this is what we're using to uh, <coughs> put them together. It's actually a half inch square and a three quarter inch round together, which actually I've got a set of three quarters and a set of half inch. And there's the other two. There's a square one. There's a round one. But I'm using different pairs of them right now. Stobart, if you would, please, sir. I'm going to show these folks how we can do that. Sure, well. Let's see if we can get the door back on. Camera don't like me. Get the whole thing through the ground there if you want to. All right, here we go. These things you change the knife. You make the uh, long end that goes in your vehicle receiver. Make them long so they don't uh, slip out. You can't shake it out or get a bump, you know. Yeah. I got that one off just a little bit too quick now. That little twist in it right there. By the way, you can take some uh, spring steel and uh, offset two holes in it 
run your spring in. one place <clears throat> for a while for the arms extended Still recording. now if I didn't mention it a while ago the reason why I like these safety hooks so much is the long shanks on these long shanks and Right here, you slip that on the uh, vehicle towing trailer, and uh, you'd have to have, uh, if you shook that out of the towing trailer, I doubt very seriously you'd still be sitting in your driver's seat. So uh, you can take it a step further. I think I have a picture of them on my phone. You can drill a hole here and here on both, you know, all the way through on both sides. Just a little small hole, get a piece of spring, spring steel. You can bend it, come out of there, go over, bend it, go down, come right back up, and go through the other hole. Go through one hole here, and then space the other hole about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths apart. Go through the other hole on the way back. Then when you push it back and let it go. It'll, uh, uh, you know, there's no way, no way you can turn the big up upside down, shake it, put it in a wash machine. Couldn't get it off. But anyway, that's really not necessary, but I have seen chains like that. And you get ready to buy a safety hook, you can't find one anywhere. You have to buy the chain, and they charge a ridiculous price for a chain. So that's why I make my own. But uh, I think you guys would probably like that. Uh, somebody's probably going to ask me for dimensions. Let's see, I got my old welding tape measure out here today. It's kind of scarfed up, but um, inside dimensions are uh, well should be three quarters, but looks like I'm between three eighths and five uh, uh, between five eighths and three quarters, and uh, that measurement right there three inches the overall it's five and this measurement in here is uh, about five eighths of an inch so you can slip it on a chain take it out slip it on a chain hit it with a hammer right here fold it up I do bevel those lick them with a hammer a couple times that way when they go down they uh, lay up pretty tight it makes it a little bit stronger although you usually don't need it hope hope to God you don't need it anyway but uh, I just put some on my dump trailer back over there because it had pretty crappy ones to begin with. That had one of these. That's what I just took off of it. And the other side had one of them. That's what I just took off of it. So now I got two real ones on there. Cheers.